This is the house that then got born. They stole all the property inside this house and they set the house on fire. The owner of this house has been matched. They stabbed him. Beautiful people, like, share, and subscribe. Uh, so, this is a breaking news. This uh, happened in Kaduna. Uh, and it's a developing story. So many houses were burned and properties destroyed as the rates use hoodlums attack Yoruba community in Kaduna. So I'm wondering what could have made them attack Yoruba communities in Kaduna? What could be the reason? Uh, we'll later find out as the news uh, keeps on developing. But I don't know. Nigeria is at a very at a high practice pace because many of you don't understand what is happening. Poverty leads to crime. Poverty. That's why you see that in richer neighborhoods, you hear of lesser crime compared to poorer neighborhoods. You know, people are hungry in Nigeria. People are starving, you know, and it will push people to break the law. Because in Nigeria, people have seen that breaking the law even pays more than when you don't break the law. You can see how the Nigerian mil data militant things happen. These were people with guns. At the end of the day, they were given amnesty. Uh, look at what happened in Boko Haram. Nigerian government, instead of deleting all the Boko Haram, is giving them repentance. So, the country is at the precipice and it's only God that can save Nigeria from what is going to happen. I'm telling you, you will see it. This will even be worse than air sacks and it will not have a date. People are hungry and a hungry man is an angry man. I don't know when the story develops, we will know what's happening. But I think people should stop taking laws into their hand. You can hear what they, they said they did to the owner of the house. It's very pathetic. Tomorrow now, it will be blasphemy. Next tomorrow, it will be food issue. Next tomorrow, it will be, you know, the country is just full of ab ab abnormalities, you know. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section.